Hello, friends and followers. How is this possible? Painting digital on a train and other structure is still visible. Today I want to tell you more about how to create such a template so that you are able to paint on a train and it is still the structure visible and you can create super realistic graffitis on trains at home while being locked down, while being arrested at home because of um, the corona crisis. So let's first talk about the setup. I have a super old iPad Pro. It is from 2015. It's the very first model and I'm still satisfied. It still works pretty good. It has only 32 gigabytes of storage it is the first apple pencil but my first tip at all is this um apple pencil is so slippery i always put just some some tape to it now it has super great grip like a wooden pen and the app that i use for painting is this one it is procreate um, and I highly suggest you to use Procreate. It's the best painting tool that I have ever used. Even better than Copic markers or Photoshop or um, painting on a tablet, on a, on a painting tablet, like a Wacom tablet or something. It has no lag. It is, it is perfect. It is, it is so fast. Yo. So, and now I will tell you all the steps that you need um, to create such a template. And of course, I will put all my templates that I have created in the uh, video description down below so that you can download them easily and paint on this train and two other trains that I prepared for you. And I will now prepare the fourth train. Okay, let's start. So at first I need a picture of a train and this picture was sent to me by Okas. I will um, write his Insta handle in here so that you can follow this guy. He sent me all the other um, train pictures as well. This is a Swiss train and I want to prepare this one for you so that you can use it as well. The first thing that you do is you open Procreate on your iPad Pro and you go to Photo. You select one of your very cool pictures and I have this picture over there. And this is the train picture. And now you have the background. This is totally uh, unimportant for this project and you have the train and the very first thing that we do now is we create a mask that means um, that you use this uh, selection tool here uh, you go to free-handed selection not automated selection and now we select the whole we select the whole train, all the parts that can be painted. Down to maybe here. We don't want to paint on the wheels and all these other things here. We won't, don't want to paint there. And the selection is done. Now we create, we invert the selection. We use three fingers, we swipe up and then we copy and paste. And this is our mask. Just to show you the mask. So now you can see that this is everything that we don't want to paint on. We don't want to paint in the sky. We don't want to paint on the wheels because otherwise it will look very unrealistic. I can do it for you now. I use one of these brushes, maybe a red one. And if I paint like this, this looks unrealistic. Let me delete this. 
But if we create a layer underneath the mask, oh, look, there, we suddenly can't paint in the sky anymore. So this is more realistic, but it is still not super realistic because of the reason we have no structure. And now comes the structure part. This was pretty easy. This is everything that you need for your mask. Let's call this one mask. And let's call this one paint here. So this is our painting layer. This here is our background. Background. We have background, mask, painting layer. Now we want structure. So what do we want to do now? Now we have to create a very, very wide train. So we swipe to the left, we duplicate this layer. And the first thing I do is at, at first I go into uh, this stuff here. I don't know this magic magic wand and the first thing i do is i reduce all the color at first i put down the saturation and i make it more light a little bit like this okay it is not white but these parts here they are already perfect the next Next thing I do is I go into the magic wand again and there are the uh, the curves. I go in the curves and I want to make everything that's white even whiter and everything that's black even more black. Look what happens. Now all the now the 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 roof looks pretty white already. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm, not perfect I would say like like this this looks already pretty good so now these parts here these parts is, are gray um, and I want that the gray is white that the gray is white too so I select all the gray parts uh, with the selection, free-handed selection tool again. Uh, copy and paste again. The three fingers swipe up, copy and paste. Oh. And now I'm making only this part very white again. Magic wand, curves. Let's see. Uh, I have to admit that I have no idea really what I'm doing here. But okay, this makes it more gray. This makes it more black. Perfect. This is perfect. And now, now I, um, you can see here the handles, they look a little bit unrealistic. I want to erase it here a little bit. Erase, erase. And now what we still have to do is we have to remove all all the type because if you spray with the spray paint over the type the type will be gone so we have to make everything that's type white 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 you can use every brush for it it does not matter at all be careful don't paint over over uh, the structure because we want this line here this line is important but the numbers here are not important we can remove these numbers if we have a little bit of, 
of dirt like this here this doesn't matter this is this is okay this makes it even more realistic move here something from the mountains the nice swiss mountains some more numbers remove them don't remove this part because this is some, some iron parts they will be visible after painting I reduce the saturation of this of this brush a little bit so that we can still leave some dirt here. Some dirt, some dirt. Yeah. Now let's remove this type here as well. Remove this type, this number. What is this? I don't know. I don't know what this is. This can and, and we will we will leave it like that and now we created pretty fast 11 minutes we created the structure and now comes the magic we still have the painting painting layer we have this three layers this layer is just painted i painted over um, all the type and the rest of the mountains and all the stuff um, I made the gray parts here separated more white Yeah, and this was the the layer where I made the whole train white so now we Create one single layer out of them just by pinching these three layers and put This is very important we put the structure layer over the painting layer structure structure this there you can see this is tiny little letter this is an n and the, the n stands for normal this is a normal layer but you have different options if you tap on the n and you go up to multiply and did you see what happened? A normal layer, everything is white. A multiply layer, suddenly you can see through everything that is white. Um, and now, da -da 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 -da, suddenly you have structure and you can paint with some structure. Um, let's let's take a green color and we paint with the green over the window oh we forgot something this is very important as well i painted over the window but i still can't paint over the window i can paint over the letters i can paint over the handle i can paint over these numbers but i can't paint over the window we forgot it so let's make the structure again in the normal mode. And now this is very important. Create a new layer and we have to paint all windows white. We can do it, uh, we just can do it by hand. There's no other option. No, this is not white. Oop. This is white. So now we paint the window white. Oh yeah. This is a beautiful, nice window. The window is nice now. So... And, um... There is this plastic around the window and we still we can paint over the plastic as well so we make the plastic white but we leave um, a little bit black at the outside because um, the window the shape of the window should not disappear totally don't be too careful if there's a little bit of black still um, pointing through the white. 
it makes it even more more realistic. Yo, I think this handles. Can be painted as well. Yeah, perfect. You can't paint in holes. You can't paint uh, in this structure here, but you can paint on the window. So we have to put this uh, now you can see the difference. We put this together and go in the multiply mode again. And suddenly, there you are. You can still paint. Now you can paint everywhere. Uh, yeah. And the guy, Ocus, who has sent me this nice train he asked me um, if i can paint his name in a very very easy way and i will do it now and a lot of you guys always ask me which kind of brushes do you use and the answer is pretty easy i use all the brush packs from mr baker he's a friend of mine he creates uh, brush packs very professionally and um, I asked him if he can give me some discount for all you out there, for my friends and followers. And he gives me a 10% discount for every per purchase. He gives me a 10% um, discount for every purchase over 16 euros. So if you buy um, the spray brush pack and the sticker pack, or if you buy all the packs together, you can save 10% by using the coupon code SMELL. So please use the coupon code, visit the website bakerwarner.com. Uh, it will stand here. Use the um, coupon code SMELL. Visit the shop, download your um, brush packs, they are great. And I use them all, all the time. Uh, all my um, digital graffitis that I painted the last uh, two years, I would say, uh, I had the first brush pack, I have all of his brush packs. I like them a lot. I will put a link down there below. Yeah. So now let's um, use the cloudy fat cap. I think we use a light green. And now we sketch. Now we have to hurry a little bit because um, and hear the police already. They're coming. Oh, let me fast, fast, let me paint the first lines and the fill in. Fill in is pretty dirty. And now this, I like this brush. I would say already that this is my favorite brush in the whole brush pack. It's the dirty bold because it looks like standard cap. Mm. Oh, let's make a blue outline. <laughs> this is such a cool detail. Did you see this? There you can see that there is a little plate with some numbers on it. And I paint over it. And it is still visible. So cool. I want to make this video as fast as possible without a lot of super fancy and, and cool editing. I just want to give you some information. <laughs> So, and if you if you go on this um, this color here, these are the last colors that you use. And you can, can go back, and now you can uh, do some cutting if you want to. And I want to do some cutting, make it a little bit more clean. And this is what I love so much about the iPad. You can paint exactly, exactly like you would do with a spray can. 
but only with the option that you can go back you can this is a pretty dope bombing I would say cool I'm satisfied oh we totally forgot that the police was coming but the police uh, was driving uh, to a car accident they didn't notice us so we are lucky I would say we want we want a white second outline this always looks good ah oh, look at this this dust <laughs> perfect Baker Baker this is my favorite brush definitely Yo friends and followers, this was super fast. This was my tutorial about how to create a template where you can paint super realistic graffiti on your iPad Pro in Procreate with your Apple Pencil. I have no idea how to do it on Samsung, on Android or something. This is the setup that I use and I have no idea about the others and I can't test it and I can't make it for you because I just ha don't have a Sam Samsung or um, a Windows tablet. Sorry for that. This is exclusive for uh, iPad Pro users. You, the use users, iPad Pro users. I hope you learned something. I hope that you create a lot of um, train templates with only your photos because you can get some trouble if you use uh, photos from the internet. Um, basically, I don't care. I just say it for you because I'm a little bit responsible. I try to be responsible a little bit. Um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this quick and fast tutorial about painting digital on iPad Pro. And I hope to see you in the next project. And by the way, the next video that I will... Um, paint I will paint again in the next video and it will be visible on another channel not on mine I will tell you more about this on Instagram so please follow me on uh, smonova at smonova on Instagram uh, and stay healthy take care stay at home paint a lot of trains bye bye